All right, so I just refreshed and I hand dialed in this Ken dig based off a little bit of a remembered data logging in my head um, from the Mustang yesterday. So hopefully this is going to be close enough to drive it on the street. Um, I did put new backfire flaps in because the other ones were cracked. I was trying to use all original stuff. So now we got new backfire flaps, new mounts for the backfire flaps. Um, new even plates for the backfire flaps look at those that's nice so anyway this one's ready to go dialed in tightened up a little bit we need a richer mixture in the mid-range and leaned out in the lower end so i leaned it out in here and richened it up in here a little bit so got it hopefully a little closer anyways so yeah here's my throttle plate these are uh, pretty cool i'm gonna start offering these to people who need them it's a uh, mount adapter. It's 75 bucks. You can mount any modern throttle um, to this now. That comes on throttle bodies. So that goes in there, and it locks in with this down here. Check it out. Really cool. So if you guys got a Ken dig and you don't have throttle solutions, this is the new throttle solution right here. Anyways, again, these are 75 bucks. Yeah. goes on right there and then uh, check it out throttle plates are a little dirty I didn't clean it up too much so this is gonna get used anyways there we go Kendig VVC 1970 this is a 1000 the 1000 A's this mounted down here and these were straight that was one visible thing and some of the 1000 A's had holes drilled in the sides right here and right here for an easier adjustment. Anyways, there it is, the Kendig VVC. Serial number's still on it, nice and clear. Yep. Anyways. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Look forward to some uh, race car videos running the Kendigs and the Predators. Legendary VVCs. That's variable Venturi carburetor.